30 seconds. All right, let's go. Oh, you ain't no headphones, brother? I gotta get you good headphones. Ten seconds, everybody, stand by. Right, right. 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 All right, welcome back to Open Line, <laughs> right here on ninety-eight point seven. What goes kiss on? What goes on? All, all yeah, there, right? Stays in Vegas, right? Yeah, stays in Vegas. Stays in Kiss, right? That's what it's Now you start streaming. Oh. Be out there for everybody to see. There you go. To join our conversation this morning, right here on 98.7 Kiss FM. Open line. Give us a call at 1 800 288 KISS. You can text us at 23123. <laughs> A very special guest in the studio, and a great honor for uh, for us to uh, introduce him. He's, he's a, uh, a photographer extraordinaire, and uh, just a, a renaissance man. Um, and uh, we got to know him during the course of a trip to him to uh, Sedan. Uh, the one and only Mr. Jules Allen, Professor Jules Allen. That's right. <laughs> yes, uh, that's professor, a right. uh, tenured professor, James, James, <laughs> yeah, James at the man. Community College uh, <laughs> uh, in Queens. Well, here is this mic here, right here, my brother. And he has his own photographs in here. I'm gonna tell you that much right now. Tell right. us all about Double Up, Brother Jules. Good morning. It's a book of photographs um, that was uh, made in a gym in New York City, Gleason's Gym. Famous gym. During the, during the 80s when a lot of famous boxers and fighters and hanger-ons and legendary observers uh, and trainers were uh, there. And um, I wandered in one day and immediately identified it as something that was familiar mm. and started training with Bobby McQuillan mm. um, who was a famous trainer uh, I spent a lot of time with a lot of famous uh, fighters as well as entertainers uh, and once I found out that he had been with Miles yeah, Bobby McQuillan was Miles' was the trainer. Oh, okay. yeah. But he was also a, form, a former world champion. Yeah, world champion. Yeah. Uh, okay. Once I found that out, and he, he invited me to, to start training with him, I did, and that led to the photographs being yeah. made. Uh, you you, you, you actually photo. really physically trained boxing. Right? Oh, I, I, yeah, I trained. I trained with one of your uh, co-hosts <laughs> yeah, in yeah. the ring. Yeah. Who's that? And he's not talking yeah, about he, me he, or he, you. He, no, he, I, he, one of, one of your illustrious co-hosts, uh, yeah. uh, Mr. James M. Tui. You, you can hit the speed bag and everything? No, that was serious, brother. I saw him box. I saw oh. him box a, he boxed? a, a world-class contender. Swim? At Gleason's huh? Gym, right? I saw him um, he boxed a, who, box a world-class contender. Layla how, Ali? How did he do Did he, did he fight Layla Ali? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no that, that, that's good. He, he held his own. He held his own. Yeah, but no, no, his own. You know, one of the good things about the book is that uh, Mr. <laughs> Tume um, writes uh, he, uh, one, of the, one, of, one of the introductions uh, to the book, and he has some really, really wonderful things to say. He says, Jules Allen weaves a total tapestry of work that is truly iconic. Mm. Spelled with an E Y E, I might add. Two amazing. Yeah, it's it's, <laughs> it's a good body of work. I think it's, uh, it it certainly reflects the culture of of the activity and and the culture of a lot of people participating that uh, you wouldn't think had the handle on. The photography it. is beautiful. I mean, your composition is Jules. I've said this to you over and over again. I, as one photographer to another, your photography. It's just the composition, the way you set things up, man. Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful. I mean, his his work. Let's let's re, uh, inform the audience. His work is seen uh, from every place, from the Museum of Modern Art uh, to the Smithsonian oh, it's, it's and the wonderful. National Gallery of Art. So this ain't no lightweight, Professor. Now, you know, well, so let me ask you this. I, oh, well, I was ask a question about boxing, um, and you actually got in the train. What was it about it when you walked in and said, "I got to do this. I want to do this. I want to." I want to. Uh, well. Partially, I somebody stole up, his I, bike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's true. I'd grown up watching fighting uh, and boxing matches in a, in the family home, and the gym at that time was so uh, uh, reminiscent to me of my house that I grew up in. The same characters were there uh, with my father and his friends on Friday night, and uh, they would all sit there and have those conversations that were ongoing and endless. Uh, um, and and talk about uh, who was what and who was the best. Yeah. You know, there's an interesting connection, uh, 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 Slate. Boxing 
and musicians. There's a there's a, there's a heck a heck of a tapestry. Like Sugar Ray Robinson and Miles Davis was tight as thieves, mm. you know. And those cats represented the art. That's why they, they refer to it as a sweet science. So all those cats, Joe Lewis, I'm, I'm talking about back in the day. I, I don't know how it is now. I guess hip hop would be the equal equivalent. But there's one thing I wanted to ask Jules. I mean, you've already put out what this is your third book. Yes, sir. How come we don't see a lot more black <laughs> photographers? I know you know where I'm going. I'm, I'm a, more bodies of work. Mm. Um, it, first of all, it's difficult to do. And, now, at that, and that's not to say that other people can't do it. I think that the, tradi- the tradition of making books is uh, new in, in photography. Mm. Uh, and I happen to come along at a time when it's more uh, a way of expressing oneself in a general context uh, rather than it being something that... Uh, is seen so uh, particularly uh, difficult to do. Uh, it's also, for me, the way I see photography as as best uh, a best vehicle for viewing images uh, of photographs. I particularly like books. Uh, I think you're going to see more books from more photographers. And I think that photography has pretty much been elusive uh, in black cultures uh, in the United States. We haven't had as many photographers as other cultures have mm. been making the kinds of works that uh, hold up uh, in publications. Now, we're here to discuss an event that's being held today at 4 o'clock. Could you uh, tell our audience? And we want everybody who's interested. And look, the, like Pickett said, the book is phenomenal. It's a, it's a different way of looking at boxing. Uh, there's a book signing at Gleason's Gym today mm. between 4 and 6 p.m. Uh, in Brooklyn, uh, downtown Dumbo. And, uh, you got the address? I do have the address. Um, I was smart enough to write it down because I knew <laughs> I would remember it. Well, join the club. <laughs> uh, uh, 77 Front Street on the second floor of Brooklyn, uh, 4 to 6 p.m. at Gleason's Gym. So repeat that uh, again slower, the address. 77 Front Street, second floor, Brooklyn, 4 to 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. Um, in Dumbo, downtown Brooklyn. Well, if people want to get a, get a hold of this book or purchase it, where, where can they go? Is Amazon a... uh, is probably the easiest place. And okay. Probably the most. Uh, you can also go to the Jules Allen Photography website and order it. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, right, that's the name of the website? Jules, Jules Allen Photography. Okay. .com. Yeah. Let me ask you this question. Every picture tells a story. Your favorite picture in this mm-hmm. book Whoa. <laughs> that's what he whoa, do. That's what he whoa. do. That's why I listen to you every week. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably the one that I learned the most about photography in making is a photograph of a gentleman in the mirror training. Um, and he's looking in the mirror, and, and the trainer's holding the mirror up for him. And it's a photograph where, in order to light the boxer, I had to figure out how to illuminate him and what I did was turn the flash around backwards Wow! and shot him and then it lit the, because if oh. I had shot into the mirror it would have just blown mm-hmm. so I mean that's my favorite because I learned the most about uh, what I was trying to learn how to do it I and you know Slade it's interesting I mean Jerry at that point Jerry Cooney the Hawk came through uh, Benitez all the champions came through uh but the thing I want one, one, one picture is interesting picket in there it's a picture of a young guy a young, a young white guy. I mean, Grant. You know, he's about. He was 16 then. Uh, uh, Slade. Yeah, Grant. His Phillips. name is Grant Phillips. Yeah. Now let yeah. me tell you who. And he used to hang around us. Let me tell you who he is. Every time you see a boxing match, pick. Every time you see a boxing match, you see the the, the, the fighters come in with Grant gloves and Grant fighting gear. That was that kid when he was 16. Wow. He owns that. But so that was like a sidebar. And we and, you and know. he he was he was committed to to developing that yeah. then, and he was a trainer. Right, he was that serious about boxing. Wow. He was serious. That's fantastic. Well, the, <laughs> double up the name, double up. Why double up? Uh, because Bobby would always tell us uh, when trainer. we were training to uh, double up on the jab. Okay, <laughs> yeah. right. and it became so significant and so instilled in uh, my behavior that uh, I I. I thought I owed it to him, mm. and I and and it's also a great title for me. Yeah, your all-time favorite fighter, boxer of all times. 
Well, come on, man. Muhammad <laughs> Ali, man. You know I'm going to Muhammad yeah, Ali. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know where I'm going, had man. Had said that, Slave would beat you up. Man, you know where no, I'm no, going, I, man. I don't know if that's Favorite not a fair. person in the whole world. Well, oh, that's the same person, right. But I would have to go with Sugar Ray Robinson. Oh, too. I, I didn't. I didn't see that much oh. of Sugar Ray Robinson. Well, I don't look, know. there's no question that Sugar could fight. But yeah. Favorite. Ali is the man. You talking about personality? I'm talking no, no, I'm talking about boxing too. All of it. Oh, all of it. You, you, all of it. you just said you haven't boxing. seen Sugar. Yeah, yeah I only saw Ray films Robinson. of brother. No, you and didn't. No, I, no, no. I, I, yeah, brother, I wasn't into that stuff when I was a kid. Uh, Ali <laughs> hey, was Robin, the one, Ali, the greatest Ali. fighter Ali. of all time. 110 wins mm -hmm. before he had his first loss. Yeah, but uh -huh. I, I, I grew up with Ali. That's, yeah, that's my but man. that ain't history. No, that's your no, story. I'm sorry, but the book, ask me. <laughs> the book. That's <laughs> my story. Gentlemen, Sugar Ray Robbins. We're not here to talk about Sugar Ray Robbins or Muhammad Ali. We're here to talk about Jules Allen. <laughs> Great <laughs> book. Double Up. And repeat. Photographs by, by Jules Allen. And text the, by Herb Boyd and text by James. James and Tume. Ooh, and so. the um, uh, signing is, is where again? Yeah. Gleason's Gym, 77 Front Street, second floor, Brooklyn, 4 to 6 p.m. That's Everyone's right. Everybody today. come out. Uh, the, the quintessential pictorial representation of boxing. Be there. No doubt about it. Jules, I want to thank you for being with us, man. Thank you so As much. As always, a great pleasure. Thank, thank you. you so much. You know, in fact, uh, you, you are outstanding and you have a great eye, my brother. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank all of you for listening to us. And oh. so... <laughs> I said I was laughing because I know this moment. That's funny. Because like you shuffling it, man. Like, oh, you don't hear that? We's laughing. Bam, bam, bam. bam. Uh, this is laughing. Uh, I'm just telling you. Wow, 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 wow. A couple of times when we threw it, because you know how we roll. Right. And Jules said, we said, and what is that? And Jules said, I felt like well, my uh, teeth. I feel like my teeth. How fast we go? You can't move so fast. You get like you say. Well, what's your favorite flick? And it's like. He said, well, uh, <laughs> yeah. Look, man, I'm trying to get set a mood, man. We got coming. It's 17 years, though. I know, no. 17 but years. But it's also radio time. And oh, yeah, it is. It is. You know what I mean? You guys, you oh, yeah. guys know how to yeah. move that, 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 that audio thing. They right. think fast. You know how to move so, that man. thing. And I'm so like trying to think. So in a few minutes, 